Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use image sequences to play back and render textures of video in Unreal Engine. Now, in Unreal Engine 5.1, there is a new feature called the Media Plate Actor, which really simplifies the use of video in sequencer in general. However, this is new to version 5.1. In 5.0 and earlier, yeah, that feature doesn't exist. So if you're using Unreal 5 or a version of 4, then image sequences are actually the better way to go when using sequencer with video playback files, such as a texture that you want to have appear on a screen in your scene. So let's take a look at how we would go about that. The first step really is to convert your video file into an image sequence. So for the purposes of that, I'm going to go ahead and use Adobe Media Encoder. You could also use FFmpeg, which is completely free. Now for my Media Encoder settings, I have our video loaded up and I'm going to set this up to uh, try to render quickly without a whole lot of drive space used up. Uh, we've uh, picked, let's see, now uh, Unreal Engine does support EXR files, open EXR. And uh, that is actually uh, one of the file formats that it's optimized for. Uh, we could also use PNGs, TIFF files, uh, but again, for the sake of uh, speed and uh, conserving drive space today, I'm just gonna go ahead and use JPEGs as my sequence. And then to save some drive space, I'm just gonna dial down quality to 60% and set my resolution to 1280 by 720. Lastly, I just wanna double check that my file name doesn't end with a number so that the frame number could be added to the end of this and it'll uh, be very legible and we're all set so we'll just say okay to this and then begin our encode okay so media encoders gotten started on this file and i can uh, go ahead and open up the folder that it's rendering to and you can see that each frame of the video is getting its own individual JPEG file, and each file is numbered with a frame number. So we'll let Media Encoder do its work here. And when it's finished, we'll get moving on to the next step. Okay, so our render is finished, and we're ready to bring that image sequence into Unreal Engine. So let's take a quick look at the project. And here's my project folder, but there is no folder for the image sequence or movies. And so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and create a new folder and call it movies. This isn't required as being the name, but it is uh, known to Unreal that the movies folder would contain media that needs to travel with the project. So sometimes it's good to go ahead with the uh, default standard here of using a movies folder name in case you ever uh, need to use this for a uh, virtual reality uh, package or uh, something that you're going to compile for distribution. So let's get our image sequence in there. Here is the folder of images. So I'll go up one level and right click and copy. And then I'll go into my project folder under content and then of course movies and this is where we'll post that folder full of images so right click and paste and that's going ahead and copying and of course we're getting a message here from unreal engine about changes one of the things that we want to do is not import these files we're not going to use these images directly as textures so we are do not import going to use do not import. We'll wait for this copy to finish and rather than having to click this button over and over again we'll just wait until all the files are done first. Okay great. All of our files have been copied. We can go into Unreal Engine here and make sure we use the don't import button so that Unreal Engine doesn't create asset files for each one of those images. So next we can set up the assets that we do need to be able to play back that image sequence. So I'll go ahead into movies and then image shots. There's no assets here, but we can create a few. 
The first is going to be an image sequence asset or an image sequence source. So we'll create that and we'll just leave it at the default name, double click to open. And we'll need to tell Unreal Engine where that sequence of images is. So we click the ellipsis button, find our first image and open. Under here, we'll want to make sure that we have the correct frame rate. In this case, this media was 30 frames per second. And that's all set. So we'll save that and close. Next, we'll need a media player. So we'll right click, media, and media player. We do want a media texture asset to result from this media player. So we'll say OK. We'll let that be media player and we've got our texture asset from that. Next, we'll want to display this on a plane. So we'll just go ahead to Shapes, bring out a plane, and we'll move this up a little closer here and rotate it in X and Z. This should be 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so we'll just go ahead and make this 1.6 wide by 0.9 wide, or by 0.9 tall. And finally, we'll drag this texture onto the plane. This will generate a new material, and W, bring this up into place. Okay, so we have all the assets we need. We've got our media source for the image sequences. We've got a media player that will play back the images. We've got the texture that the images will go into. And finally, a material that's been applied to a plane so that we can see the video output in our level for the benefit of any cinema camera that we're going to be rendering from. So finally, we'll set up this video to play back in a level sequence. So we'll right click, animation, Level Sequence, double click to open, and here we'll add a media track. Now we'll need to add media to the media track, so we'll hit hit this and choose our new media source that we had created. We'll just drag this out so it lasts the duration of the sequence, and then right click the media block so we can choose properties and set the media texture to be the one that goes with our new media player video. And we should be good here. And there it is. Our video is now playing frame by frame and it'll be frame accurate throughout the playback of the sequence, as well as if we were to render through Media Render Queue. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.